Chef Sisley and I am all shaken up at the Divine Cafe at the Springs Preserve today. I am making shakshuka. Shakshuka is traditionally a Mediterranean and Middle Eastern dish. It has different variations all over the globe and we're going to put a couple of those variations on it today. The first one is a variation on the spice that is used. I have some paprika. Oh, and you'll see my pan is smoking right when I put it in. That's exactly what I want. I had some coriander, which is ground cilantro seeds. I have some cayenne pepper and some caraway. Now what I'm doing right now is, whew, there's a good aroma coming off it there. I am toasting the spices. And you can see that as I do it, the spices all get brown. That is an Indian cuisine trick. And as soon as they're aromatic and start browning, I'm going to put in some oil. Loosen those guys up. Next in goes some onion. And now I'm just going to let all of those flavors meld and sizzle together. Now you'll see I'm using a cast steel pan. This is always done in something that's really heavy gauge, like a cast steel or a cast iron pan, which is a little bit more common. All right, those onions have some nice coating on them. It's all even, all the spices are evenly distributed and mixed up. And as soon as those onions start to be just a little bit translucent, which is sweating of the onions, I'm gonna add in bell peppers. And I have a mix of bell peppers here. I have orange, red, and yellow. I could also put in garlic into this dish. Maybe give it a little bit of Italian flair. Some chefs like to put Tabasco in it and give it a little bit of Mexican flair. It's whatever wonderful hearty ingredients you have that you think are gonna go good with eggs. I've even heard it called eggs in purgatory because I'm going to mix up all these ingredients, all these peppers and onions, and now once those peppers get a little bit sweaty, I'm going to throw in also some tomato. And let that get all mixed up in there, nice and even. I'd like to season it with a little bit of salt. And once I get this kind of sizzling all over and everything is really, really well combined, I'm going to make some little divots where I'll capture some eggs. By the time I'm done with this, it's going to have every color you can think of, a mess of different vegetables, it'll have a mess of different peppers. Here comes number four, some sliced up jalapeno. You could also use serrano chilies or Thai chilies if you want some real heat. All right, I'm gonna let that kind of sit and meld. And I've got good bubbles going around the side. That's the benefit of a pan like this. The heat comes up like this and falls back toward the center. And then as it heats up on the edges first, and then as the middle starts to bubble, there we go from that heat falling in from the top and the bottom. I am going to drop that heat down while I grab my soon-to-be imprisoned eggs so that the egg, or some bubbling so that it continues to cook and heat up. Now if you're not too confident on cracking eggs direct, you can do this into a little bowl or even into the mouth of the ladle and then pop it into those little divots. Now this gets taken off of the heat completely from here and it's going to go into the oven that is at 375 for about 10 minutes or so. And I will pull it out when the egg white is completely done but the egg is, or the egg yolk is still nice and soft. About eight minutes later we are all set and my eggs as you can see now fully in purgatory so what I'd like to add on to this dish is some sliced avocado as well as 
some sheep's milk feta just to get all of these beautiful colors. And I didn't put a whole lot of salt in this dish. It doesn't really need much. Feta cheese actually has quite a bit of salty flavor to it. So to add that, it's just the perfect amount of spice. The eggs captured in with all of those beautiful peppers and tomatoes is a great way to have breakfast any time of the day. Thanks for joining me at the Divine Cafe at the Springs Preserve. I hope to see you soon.